So before I begin, the fact that I'm starting a brand new Tumblr and starting to video blog and all that stuff has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I have a final in two days that I do not want to study for. Anyway, I have been going through this kind of big existential crisis for the past few hours where I've been studying. I've been literally staring at my book and just staring, staring, staring and getting nowhere because I keep on getting distracted by kind of wondering what it's all going towards. Um, I'm a grad student. I'm going for my PhD, um, but I'm just my first year. I just started um, this past September and it's been amazing. I love my program. I love the people. I love the classes. I love everything about it, but it's times kind of like these when I'm studying and trying to get pre-Socratic philosophy into my head from the original Greek, like this, like what, what, what is this even, like the fragments of Parmenides, where I'm just kind of like, what am I doing this for? What, what is the entire point? Es dineu kestin kekritai tun hosper ananke. Hosper ananke. It is or it is not. It decide. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what we're doing here. What, what, what's the point? I just don't. And then I think about why I went to school in the first place. Why I went, went to this program. I want to be a teacher. I want to be published. I want to be a professor. I want to have that distinction of being able to say that I got my doctorate before I turned 30. And I think that would just be really cool. But I think about all the articles that I'm reading and how one day I could my name could be attached to one of those. I think about all the talks that I heard at the APA last year and how maybe one day I could be up there giving a talk of my own too. Um, I look at all my teachers and think maybe that could be me at the front of the class someday, telling them what I think about um, the text that we're reading. And I think that's just really, really cool. But then thinking about the future kind of got me thinking about not just where school is going for me, but also just other parts of my life. Everyone who knows me knows that there are kind of two big parts of my life, the classics part and the dancing part. I'm also a ballroom dancer. I dance the American style, smooth and rhythm. I've been doing it for, God, uh, three and a half years by this point. Um, did it for a year at Holy Cross, my senior year, um, to impress my best friend. Um, and then I went to NYU to get my master's and I joined the team there. and. It just kind of became a big part of my life, um, just because of all the people that I met and how much fun I have doing it. And I think about what it will take for me to get to the next level of dancing, um, the the commitment that it'll take, the kind of physical conditioning that that I'll, I'll that I have to do if I want to get anywhere serious with it. Um, and then I think of myself kind of competing at an open level and making finals and placing the top three. And I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I hope will happen in the future. I don't know if it will, but it would be great if it does. And I know the steps that I need to take to get there. But anyway, that's been my last few hours. Just this kind of existential, there's something going to happen here. Um, and do I have the commitment that it'll take to get where I want to go? Hopefully. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's kind of deep for our first blog. But um, yeah. Thanks for listening.